Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steve Cartwright. And I'm Sam Schuler. And we decided to do our integrated marketing communications plan on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. So some of the little bit of background on ESPN. Um, it was founded in 1978 in Bristol, Connecticut. Um, it's the largest sports broadcaster in the nation. Uh, it's been around, it's been like that for years. People have always known ESPN to become a household name. Uh, anytime you want to find out any news about sports, you're always thrown on ESPN. Um, it was the first full-time sports network. Back before 1978, the only times that you actually got to watch sports were the primetime games that were on, um, such as, you know, Sunday Night Football, the Super Bowl, those were the only times that those were on. Um, to expand a little bit more on their market share, they launched ESPN2 in 1993, which helped boost their revenues exponentially. So the reason why we chose ESPN to uh, do an integrated marketing communications plan on was because there was an, recently there's been an emergence of bigger sporting networks, such as Fox Sports, NBC Sports Network, CBS Sports. All these uh, are huge networks that are expanding a little bit into sporting uh, networks, and they're gaining a lot of market share that used to be ESPNs. For example, in the last two years, ESPN has lost $3 billion of revenue, which is a huge chunk of change. I know I'd have, I would wanna have $3 billion right now that I don't have. Um, and there's also a huge emerging market for international sports fans. Rugby's gaining a lot of popularity in America, so is soccer. All right, so here are our marketing objectives. We'd like to target new customers. We really feel that there's just, uh, there's an expanding market out there, like, that are just international sports fans. Like Steve mentioned, rugby is growing in the, in the nation, as is soccer, and ESPN is actually already actively like growing the uh, like the American brands out in other countries. Right here, this is a gentleman. He is at a NFL football game, wearing a football helmet with the British flag on it. This game was actually hosted in London. This is uh, something they've been doing for about eight years now. And ESPN is just trying to uh, efficiently penetrate new markets not previously explored, which are just the international sports markets in the nation. We don't really have any way of viewing that, so ESPN would be the right person to bring it to everybody. As you can see, this guy's also, he's wearing a Dallas Cowboys NFL jersey. While there might not be an NFL game in London every Sunday, this guy still went out and bought a jersey to show how passionate he was about this new sport that he's being exposed to. All right, so for our IMC objectives, we'd like to change the perception um, of consumers that ESPN only covers major sporting events in the, in the uh, United States. We'd like to show them that ESPN really has broadened their horizons to completely around the world. They show, they'll show, um, they'll show cricket, rugby, soccer, um, all different sports from around the world that are gaining popularity right now. And they just are, we'd really like to uh, increase awareness of the international sporting events. So we'd use television, um, ESPN, watch ESPN, and the mobile application. And so for our target market, we aren't gonna change much that ESPN already uses. Right now they're targeting males age 18 to 34, but we'd really like to concentrate on metropolitan areas because that's where the, uh, like the highest population of people, or the highest density of pe people are in the country. So they'll be the ones that are most exposed to this. And males age 18 to 34, they're the people that are most interested in uh, sports right now. All right, so a little bit more on some uh, channels that ESPN has launched in the past. ESPN launched ESPN Deportes, which is a ESPN channel that is broadcast all solely in Spanish. Um, it's marketed towards a lot of Spanish speakers. Their biggest thing on ESPN Deportes is broadcasting Liga MX matches, which is the Mexican Soccer League. A lot of times, there won't be a lot of things that the you know uh, Mexican population in America is going to want to focus on. But then finally, ESPN Deportes comes out and they say, "Hey, here you can watch some uh, soccer games from the league that you are from." And also, there's another channel that ESPN FC or the ESPN has recently launched called ESPN FC. It's geared towards fans of soccer, but the thing about ESPN FC is that they don't actually broadcast the games, they just analyze games and watch highlights, discuss uh, uh, transfers in the football or the soccer world, they discuss uh, manager positions that are being you know, opened up, they discuss teams that are good, teams that are bad. So here's, another, here's an advertisement for ESPN FC just to reiterate that fact that they don't really broadcast games. Complete Asian Cup coverage, visit ESPNFC.com. Live scores, rapid reaction.
reaction from every game, Socceroo speeches and much more. Comprehensive coverage of the Asian Cup all in one home. ESPN FC, anytime, anywhere. So you know, like as you can see from that uh, advertisement, nowhere in the advertisement did it say that it was going to broadcast any games. All they said was, oh, you can watch full highlights, you can get live scores. And when they, when they say live scores, all they mean is that you have to be looking at your phone at the time someone scores in a soccer match to actually realize that they have scored. And that's a very rare occurrence since soccer games last for 90 minutes and there's usually not a lot of scoring that goes on inside of them. So some of the channels that we are going to channel this IMC plan through is uh, the first one we we're going to do is the internet, obviously. Internet's the biggest thing that's ever like happened, especially for kids of today. Um, social media is a huge, huge play thing that we can use to advertise. Social media is free. Social media uh, expands all throughout the world. Anybody in any section of any corner of the world can see anything that's on the internet. Um, we'll also use a lot of radio ads. ESPN has a lot their own radio station on both the FM, AM, and satellite radio channels. Uh, while FM and AM might only be available in some areas at a time, satellite radio is available everywhere all the time. This way, uh, people all over the country, no matter where you are, will all be hearing the same advertisement and it'll raise a lot of awareness around the United States for international sports. Another uh, way that we were going to communicate our message would be through magazines such as Sports Illustrated and ESPN also has their own magazine. They'd be able to market their new uh, channel that we'd be coming out with both in the magazine, on the radio, in the internet, and also on television through all of their ESPN channels that we mentioned before, such as ESPNU, ESPN Deportes, ESPN2. All right, and we're proposing that ESPN launches an entirely new station called ESPNG or ESPN Global. <clears throat> this is gonna consist of, uh, this will just constantly broadcast international events live around the clock. So anytime you tune into ESPNG, you'll see a live, a live match being played of any sport. Um, this will be very similar to ESPNU. It shows all college sporting events. Um, and we'd like to propose that ESPN just adds us into their basic sports package that comes with normal cable. Then here are some um, examples of American sports that have succeeded around the globe. Baseball is a huge one in, in Caribbean nations, in Japan, um, in Mexico. It's just taken off like crazy. Um, they have a lot of talent right now that's moving into the Major League Baseball and they have their own major leagues around the globe and they're, they have a really large following. American football, like we mentioned earlier, London hosted a, or a few games earlier this year and Mexico City even hosted a game and basketball is taking off like crazy in Europe. The, it's one of the top sports right now in Europe and that's just gained a huge following over there. So, so here's a list that we found online, some of the most popular sports around the world. The number one most popular sport in the world is soccer. And this number right here, 3.5 billion, describes the amount of fans around the world that follow soccer. 3.5 billion is about half of the world's population, which is absolutely astronomical number that ESPN could absolutely hop on, start following soccer, broadcast soccer matches, they'll gain followers from all over the world. Number two sport, cricket, two and a half billion. While it's a billion less than soccer, it's still two and a half billion more people that ESPN can target. ESPN has never covered anything cricket-wise besides maybe some highlights from the Cricket World Cup, which happens once every four years. Um, other than that, there's field hockey, which has two billion people that follow it. Tennis has one billion. Golf has 450 million. Um, even the Golf Channel. Golf, the Golf Channel is owned by NBC, so ESPN doesn't get a lot of golf coverage on their channel a lot. And tennis, too. Tennis is always covered on CBS. ABC, or the Tennis Channel, which is also owned by CBS. There, those are, all these things are also just massive sports, all not covered by ESPN at all. To put it into a little bit more of a visual perspective, pretend that this big circle is a map of the globe. This little circle right here inside the bigger one is North America, which is the only place that ESPN actually covers its sporting events. All right. So with ESPNG, we'll cover all different regions, like this right here. Let's say this is Europe. We got this right here. This could be South America, Africa, Asia, India, Australia. The, all those countries that Sam just named also, Europe's biggest market for soccer in the entire world. Everybody in Europe religiously follows soccer, whether you're from England, France, Germany, Italy, um, even the, the Nordic countries like Sweden and all that. 
South America, huge soccer uh, market, huge rugby market. Same thing with Africa, big in soccer, big into rugby. Africa is big into cricket as well. Uh, Southeastern Asia, big into soccer, big into cricket, big into rugby. Same thing with Australia. All those sports are huge along, among those people, and this is a billions of people market. If you ask me, I say ESPNG deserves a smiley face of the day.